This is Thomas J. Seaborn Photography. In today's video, I'm going to play around with some more digitally stitched panoramic images. In the last video in which I discussed digitally stitched panoramics, I uh, showed you uh, a series of images that was pretty well executed. Uh, I think that was because I was an equal distance from all the subject that was in uh, that panoramic. I had used a, a pretty long lens. Uh, this series of images was taken with a 35 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, so it's a much wider angle lens. However, I did use a panoramic tripod head, so I had uh, the correct nodal point, which means that these images will stack pretty much perfectly without a lot of uh, distortions. Uh, assuming you got the uh, horizon straight and your uh, tripod was level, because if not, you're going to get some wonky results. Uh, before I show you what I did here in Photoshop, I just want you to notice that uh, this image is much darker uh, than this image. Uh, I did that on purpose just so I could show you how Photoshop would handle those images. So I've already opened up these images in Photoshop and run all of the processes I want to run. I'll still show you how uh, I do it, but just know that it'll be slightly different because I have extra images open right now. So to make a digitally stitched panoramic, as we know, we go to Automate. Oh, let me start over on that. We go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. In here, you're given six different layout options of how Photoshop will put your panoramic image together. Uh, Auto usually gets me the best results, but I'm going to show you uh, that uh, you know you can get kind of the same results with other uh, images, uh, other layouts. So what you do is you hit Add Open Files. Uh, I'm going to hit Cancel because these are the ones I've already run. So uh, after you do that, uh, you hit OK, but I'm going to hit Cancel. So let me show you the difference between how these images turned out. So here is what happens on Auto. I haven't cropped or done anything to these images. Uh, you can see it did a pretty freaking good job. I think our horizon's pretty straight. Uh, there's a little bit of wonkiness going on up here. But you can correct that with some of the other tools in Photoshop, which I will show you how to do in a different episode. So here are those images when the layout is set to auto. I think this looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, check out what happens when you use the perspective layout. It's really, really strikingly different. Bam. Like, really huge difference. So what that'll do on that mode is it makes sure to keep almost that that'll that'll save more of uh the the perspective of uh uh kind of what is your far left to your far right where on auto it'll crop that off right about here um though your canvas size ends up being the, pretty much the same uh so that is uh perspective the next is cylindrical which gives you a pretty good result uh that actually might be better than auto in a lot of ways I think you're still suffering from the same kind of distortion. Uh, this should be straight. But your horizon looks good, uh, just so you can see that compared to auto. Not a huge difference at all between that and cylindrical. Um, let's go to the spherical. Uh, pretty big difference. Uh, you're kind of getting that mustache distortion and the other distortion. So here's that compared to the auto. Let's go to collage, which I don't like. Um, it doesn't look bad, but again, you're kind of getting even more mustache distortion. This just repositions the images uh, where you can actually move. Never mind, strike that. I don't know what I'm talking about with collage. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. Uh, and then we'll go to the last one, which is the reposition, which this will not stretch or do anything to your images. It'll just reposition. And you can see that it just doesn't do a very good job. This isn't lined up correctly this is just weird. So maybe my nodal point on my camera is not quite perfect as of yet. That is another video and a complete work in progress. So there you go. Uh, that's how you uh, make your digitally stitched panoramics. I just wanted to show you the difference in the layout modes and why I normally will stick to auto because it does a great job. Thanks for checking out my video. This is Thomas J. Seaborn Photography.